Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today, the feast day of St. John Mary Vianney, the patron saint of all priests. Let us pray for the mission of all priests, that priests may continue to bear witness to their faith in Jesus, the Good Shepherd, and bring the heart of the Good Shepherd into this world. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral zeal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them 
eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt, for they broke my covenant, and I had to show myself their master, says the Lord. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will place my law within them and write it upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. No longer will they have need to teach their friends and relatives how to know the Lord. All from least to greatest shall know me, says the Lord. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sin no more. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Create a clean heart in me, O God. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Should I offer a burnt offering, you would not accept it. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled. O God, you will not spurn. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church 
and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. Then Peter took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel reading today, Jesus urges Peter to think not as human beings do, but as God does. Hinihimok ni Jesus si San Pedro sa ating ebanghelyo ngayon. Mag-isip ka. Hindi katulad ng mga tao, mag-isip tayo katulad ng Diyos. But we ask, how does God think? Kung yan ang nais ni Jesus, na tayo ay mag-isip katulad ng Diyos, tanungin natin, e eh, paano nga ba mag-isip ang Diyos? We will see the response in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. We will see in this portion of the first reading that God thinks with His heart. Many times, when we say that we think, we use our mind. But it is different with God. He thinks with His heart. Madalas ang nasa isip natin kapag sinabi natin mag-iisip tayo, ang gamit natin ay ang utak. Pero ang Diyos, kapag nag-isip siya, gamit ang puso. That is why in our first reading today, God tells the people of Israel, I will write my covenant and my laws not in your minds and brains. I will write them in your hearts. God thinks with His heart. And He has written His laws on our hearts. And when we think with our hearts, then we will find God there. Kaya sa araw na ito, mga kapatid, kapag sinabi ni Jesus, mag-isip kayo katulad ng Diyos, ang nais niyang sabihin sa atin, mag-isip tayo, hindi lang gamit ang utak, mag-isip tayo gamit ang puso. No wonder, St. John Mary Vianney described priesthood as the love of the heart 
of Jesus. Sabi ni San Juan Maria Vianney, ang pagpapari ay ang pagmamahal sa puso ni Jesus. And it is the mission of a priest to bring the heart of Jesus into this world. Napapansin nyo ba ngayon, parang ang mga tao wala ng puso. Di ba sa, sa salita natin, no? kapag sinabi natin yan, parang wala kang puso. Anong ibig sabihin yan? No? Malupit ka. Kapag nagsalita ka, gusto mong manakit. Kapag gumawa ka ng pelikula, dapat mananakit ng tao. Wala nang puso. Kaya ang misyon ng pare, ibalik ang puso ni Jesus sa mundong ito. I will not forget one story after a Sunday Mass. A mother and a daughter approached me. They said, Father, you know, for many times now, for many months, hindi ho kami nagpapansinan ng nanay ko. Pero pagkatapos ng misa ninyo, nagpapansinan na kami. No? At umiiyak yung dalawa pagkatapos ng misa. How I wish that would be always the mission of a priest to bring the heart of Jesus once again into this world. Siguro kapag maraming kwentong ganyan palagi ng pagkakasundo, yan ang pinakamagandang misyon ng isang pari. My dear brothers and sisters, let us bring back the heart of God into this world. A world where we see that people are thinking not with their hearts, but with anger, violence, resentment, and the want to hurt others. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, we are reminded to think like God, to think with our hearts so that we could find God. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, we remember our pastors who help us each day in our spiritual needs. On this feast day of St. John Mary Vianney, let us remember them in our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock that the Holy Spirit may guide our pastors in leading the flock to the ways of holiness. May they have the genuine zeal for saving souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That parish pastors may generously serve the church and bear witness to the good news they proclaim. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock that the lay faithful may collaborate in the various programs and activities of the parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That by their generosity, Christian parents may nurture the religious vocation in their family. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. That our deceased priests and bishops may be made worthy to share in the Master's table. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, bless your flock. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions. 
let us also remember the priests who are close to us, priests who have given the heart of Jesus into our lives. Lord God, through the intercession of St. John Mary Vianney, guide and protect our parish pastors. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed John Vianney bear witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for as on the festival of saint john vianney you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit 
upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, blessed John Vianney came to deserve through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would like to thank all of you for joining me in this celebration of the Eucharist on this day of prayer for priests. I would personally want also to thank those who have uh, sent me their greetings, their personal uh, greetings and prayers for me and for Father Reggie and all the priests. May this day become truly a day of prayer for priests. And please pray for us that we may continue to be holy priests and that we may always bear the heart of Jesus into this world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy now and forever. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, Maria, Maria.